Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. Hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris and in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on again with our VGC Series 8 content featuring today a Tornoga team which is kind of following on the trend of that standard kind of metagame team at the minute after our last episode where we featured the Groudon Venusaur team and it's just in really in light to help you guys understand what's been played in the format at the minute and give you the opportunity to play these teams to understand them as a concept so you can integrate that knowledge into your own team building to make it a little bit easier and also it gives you the opportunity to try these archetypes out as well and maybe if you like them put your own spin on them so there is a poker paste down in the description as always and if you stick around till the end of the episode there will be a rental code for you guys to try out. So as you can see, we've got uh, the, the team consisting of Kyogre, Incineroar. We've got the Urshifu in there. We've got Tornadus, Cortana, and Reggie Alecki. Like I said, the rental will be at the end of the episode. We'll have a couple of games with the team right now. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this one. So sit back, relax, my friends, as we get into our first opponent of the day. Would you guess that? We're on number 69 on the ladder right now. I don't know if I'm childish enough to leave that in. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, up first we got Tiago and or Tiago, and uh, they're playing a team of Sugleo, Spectria, Rillaboom, Rotom, Wash, Incineroar, and um, Glaring Moltres. Um, okay, well we featured this team last week on the channel, or a very similar kind of concept of team with a Sugleo, and that Spectria where you bulldoze, proc the weakness policy, and let Sugleo go to town with that weakness policy boost. Um, okay, so Rillaboom going to be an issue for Kyogre, 100%. Cannot deny that. We do have Tornadus to help there. We have the Tailwind as well, which helps a bunch. Uh, Galarian. Moltres is going to be a little bit of an issue, but we can rely on Kyogre. I think Kyogre in an endgame situation is going to be phenomenal, um, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, I've got the option to utilize Incineroar in this match, although not going to be great against um, something like the Sogaleo, where we can't really utilize our Intimidates. Um, okay. I think we'll go Tornadus. Is Cortana worth bringing to this one? Cortana's not bad. Prone to get burnt, though. I think we'll bring Regilecki. We'll bring our, our big guns up front. I think we'll bring Kyogre in the back. And I think maybe Urshifu. Urshifu is incredible in this match. Like, if we can position it well with the speed control support, we can avoid the Intimidate, avoid maybe a Will-O-Wisp from the Spectria. We're sitting in a good position. Spectre, uh, Urshifu as well. I was doing some calcs with the, the Sogaleo team. Interesting enough, Urshifu, if you, it's not something you max very often, right? But if you're in front of Spectre, Sogaleo, Urshifu is an incredible option to max because even the plus two from Sogaleo is not really doing enough. Uh, to Urshifu in those situations, you know, you're gonna get the speed drop, but you know You're gonna do a lot of damage in return with those uh, max darkness moves So you just need a little bit of support beside it and uh, you can you can go to town with it So I'm gonna see the Spectre and the uh, the Sogaleo come out for my opponent now I've got a couple of options here. We can go for the Tailwind That's probably our best option um, In all honesty and I maybe I'm kind of tempted just to protect Regieleki here uh, because the next turn we can pivot out if we want, um, or we could potentially just get some damage off and sack Regieleki and then get Kyogre Urshifu on the field in the Tailwind. It's not a bad play at all, I think. I mean, we we could just protect uh, Tornadus here and just go for some straight damage onto. Mm, no, 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 because we got the Sash. It's going to go bad. It's going to go bad. We have to protect. Yeah, if we attack with Regieleki here, Bulldoze plus Sogaleo attacking is uh, not going to do us any favors. So we're probably going to get a Sash broken anyway, but with the Tailwind getting set up, that's fine. If Tornadus goes down here, do not mind at all. Um, so we can just uh, we can just see how it goes. Sorry. Yeah, I just got an email through there, so it was a little bit distracting. Ignore me. So we'll get into this one. So we'll protect Regieleki just to avoid the bulldoze here and losing it straight up because a max quake coming in obviously will do a bunch of damage especially if we see the plus two. There it is. Doesn't affect Tornadus. I wonder where they're going to attack with the, the Sogaleo though. A max quaking I would imagine it gives them a better option going forward uh, against like Kyogre coming in and firing off like a water spout. I kind of would prefer Tornadus to 
Uh, it's gonna be a lucky. Okay. Yeah, I, get, I kind of would prefer. Um. But yeah, uh, tornadoes go down there, but it's kind of it's it's not too bad. Okay, well, hurricane. Um. I'm all at Electro. What hmm, did we Electro web or did we just? The thing is, the hurricane missing could be quite problematic. I just need to break the sash on the the, the Spectria, really. Get some damage onto the Sogaleo. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. Um, but it might be enough later. Like, Spectra is not something I'm, like, super worried about. I just need to get damage onto the Sogaleo now. That's a big thing. Hurricane going to miss because it's just so whiffy. Shadow Ball coming out. Yep. We should take this with Tornadus. Yeah, we take that pretty comfortably. Get the special defense drop, which isn't ideal. And Max Quake coming out for the Sogaleo. Okay. Well... Got a couple of options now where we could potentially bring in Urshifu. Max Urshifu actually isn't a bad option, and like I'm, I'm being serious here. Like Max Urshifu is not a bad option here. It's just the fact that we could get burnt, and I don't like the idea of that. Whereas we could water spout Hurricane. And do some fat damage to this Sogaleo. It's just I don't know if we're going to be able to take. Like, if we max Kyogre now, it's not a bad play, to be honest. Yeah, I think we max. Go max Geyser. We need to make sure that we're choosing the right one. So press that Y button. It was a good tip I got a little while ago, just to make sure that you're picking the right move. Uh, yeah, we'll max. <laughs> max into Sogaleo. We should pick up the knockout against it. I'm hoping, anyway. Hoping. Come on, Kyogre. Don't let me down. <coughs> but we need to remove it from the field as quick as possible. But now we're going to lose Tornadus. That's the big issue here. Uh, we are going to lose Tornadus because of the special defense drop. I think without it, we probably take another Shadow Ball. There's a Hurricane. Unless we get the Confusion. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? There we go. Come on. Hit yourself in Confusion, Spectria. There's a Max Geyser. Come on, Kyogre. Don't let us down now. We've got that Mystic Water Booster. No, we're not the most powerful. But, wow. Sogaleo taking that like an absolute champ with that uh, special defense boost that it got a little bit earlier. We're going to see the Snarl come out. It does avoid the Kyogre, which is probably good news for us. It means Tornadus can stick around a little bit longer and probably stall out this next turn and get another Tailwind up. These special defense boosts are a super helpful for my opponent. And Kyogre taking that. I mean, that's plus two. We take that pretty well. We take that pretty well. So, Sogaleo now in a real bind. Because it's going down. I mean, do we worry about Sogaleo at all? I mean, yeah, what we want to do is just protect Tornadus. I think I'm going to get rid of the Spectria. Because Spectria is a big issue right now we've got uh, Urshifu to come in in the back we need to keep Tornadus for our Tailwind the next turn so we're in a good position with Urshifu for the end game Sogaleo protecting which you kind of imagine they're going to try and get a, a snarl off as we get a geyser even with the plus two we should be taking the Spectra down yeah okay so that's good right Spectra down and we've got one more turn of our max we've got a tailwind just ending so what we need to do is get a tailwind up hopefully there's no fake out no fake out but there is there's an incineral coming in okay well what terrain have we got we still got the psychic terrain is it still out for one more turn that's all right we can stall that out it's just what do we want to get rid of hmm They're going to have to fake out Tornadus. They have to fake out Tornadus. They have to. 100% they have to. Am I worried about Incineroar? Not really. I'd much prefer to get rid of the Sogaleo. Okay. Is it going to be Rillaboom? It is. It's a big bad boom. Okay, this is... Yeah, they're going for the double fake out. And then the Grassy Glide, obviously. Which is going to be the other thing that they can try and take advantage of. 
Oh, we do get the Tailwind up. Oh, they're going for a parting shot into Kyogre. So we should have really went after the Incineroar. But the damage onto the Rillaboom is very useful. Like, so useful. <laughs> like, crazy useful. Uh, parting shot, which is fine. It depends how that uh, Rillaboom is built. It has to go for a fake out this next turn, though. But if it does... The thing is, if it goes for a fake out this next turn, right? The Rillaboom goes down. We get a Water Spout off, and we pick up the win. Yeah, so they can't afford... Like, they've got to. They've got to fake out. Or do we just protect Kyogre? Hurricane. And protect Kyogre. Because then we bring Urshifu in. we got the Sucker Punch, which will go before the Grassy Glide. And then we can just take down the Sogaleo. Yeah, because the, the defense boosts are gone. So the best option here is protect Kyogre. Hope they go Grassy Glide, not Fake Out. But even if they do, we get Urshifu onto the field. Ah, oh, they went for it. And now we're going to get it. Now we just win. Now we just win. Yeah. So. <clears throat> now we just win. Because, I mean, they do have the fake out to come in now, but we can double protect. We'll still have a turn of Tailwind. Or will we? Or are we in our last turn of Tailwind? Regardless, though, I mean, we've got Urshifu. And just the bulk on Kyogre is super nice in this situation. I don't think we would have taken a, a Grassy Glide uh, from the point we were. But the fact that we got Urshifu coming in and we still got the Tailwind in effect, it's it's a nice option. Especially, the problem is the band, obviously. Um... <laughs> the band is the issue. But have they got a way to knock out Urshifu? I don't think they have. They've got to fake it out. Yeah, we've got two turns. Yeah, there's no coming back from my opponent here. We just Wicked Blow and uh, Water Spout. There's no coming back from my opponent from this. But yeah, you fake out the Kyogre. Urshifu just takes down Sogaleo. And between banded... Banded uh, Wicked Blows and Water Spout. I mean, even even Weakened Kyogre is going to be enough. Even out of the rain to deal with Incineroar, it's just not going to have the, the firepower to deal with us. Obviously, Close Combat would have been better, but we're risking Close Combat missing the knockout, and we don't... We... That's because I'm not super confident with my calcs yet. So I think Water Spout probably at the point where it's about the same as Origin Pulse. But we do see the cancel battle. Very good game to my opponent. And a nice way for us to kick off today. I think we saw a good combination of the team. Some threats there and uh, how powerful Kyogre can be in a decent situation against a very strong team as well. So um, we're going to jump into our next one. Hopefully we can have as good as that one. So we'll be right back with our next opponent. Okay, up next we have a team of Clefairy, Urshifu, Mama Swine, Rillaboom, Zapdos, and Calyrex Ghost Rider. So, a very scary looking team, especially when you see the Calyrex Ghost Rider combined with the Clefairy. Obviously a combination that's going to be a bit awkward to play around because of the redirection, the friend guard there, and the helping hand support. And you can say the same about that and the Urshifu. We've got a nice combination there made up of the, uh, the Rillaboom. Uh, it's going to cause us all sorts of problems for Kyogre alongside the Zapdos um, the Mamoswine not too bad an issue but obviously does give us a few issues if we are running things like uh, Reggie Alecki there. Reggie Alecki honestly going to be very uh, pivotal in this match and I almost feel like Cartana can play a big role here as well for us. Uh, we've got to watch out for the fake out from the Rillaboom turn one uh, that's going to be a big issue for us for sure. Obviously if we see like Rillaboom and Urshifu it's going to be an issue um i think that the key is going to be trying to stall out my opponent's max and you've got to uh, probably think there's maybe going to be the zapdos here um what can we lead what can we lead what can we lead uh i mean incineroar is not bad for fake out support they've got nothing to really threaten us there i, I think kyoga and as much as i want cartana in the back i think tornadus is just better for a late game kyoga sweep where we can get kyoga tornadus onto the field maybe together or kind of try and manipulate the board in a position where we can get that set up and then tailwind 
just obliterate everything with Kyogre, like it does with well, this Water Spout, so you can even max it if Rillaboom's on the field. Uh, we'll try and get rid of the Rillaboom as early as possible if it does show up. I don't know if it's going to come in this match. It would make a lot of sense, but there we go. There the boys coming out. Rillaboom zapped us off the bat. So the Intimidate here from the, the Incineroar, very useful onto the Rillaboom for sure. Um, Zapdos can't really damage uh, Regieleki outside of uh, obviously Heatwave um, but ideally what we'd like to see here is the Zapdos kind of max and we can get potentially a parting shot off into it with our Incineroar um, and I think probably protecting Regieleki here is not a bad option um, yeah because Zapdos isn't going to be able to add speed Regil no no not plus one no 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 so, we'll see. Is Rillaboom going to max though? No, it's going to be the Zapdos. So, it's so airstreaming probably into Incineroar. I think the worst the worst situation here for us would be uh, Fake Out into Incy and the max airstream. That wouldn't be ideal because I don't really want to lose Incineroar too early on in this game. If we can get the parting shot off now, that's going to be a huge help for us. Massively. So, the what we see. Fake Out into the Aleki, which is ideal. Incineroar shouldn't go down to a Zapdos attack. It is the Airstream. I'm going to do a big chunk. Oh, it's into Regi Aleki as well. Just wants to get that Airstream stacked up. Okay, well, we'll take that. Is it worth getting? It's not worth getting Kyogre on the field now. We can't bring Kyogre in. In front of an electric bird and a big grassy ape, there's no way I'm bringing, I'm bringing Kyogre to the party. No chance. Um, we need to bring Tornadus in. Um, minus one as well as Aptos, you know. I think, yeah, it's not it's not the worst. I think it's alright, actually. I think we're alright. We're just setting the board up for later on in this game. I think, yeah. I don't think we're going to Tailwind just yet with Tornadus. I kind of want to... I want to bide my time a little bit. I'm going to bring Incineroar back in. I'm going to just protect with Tornadus. We haven't got the Sash on Tornadus, so we don't need to worry about it being broken. I want to get another Intimidate onto this Rillaboom. And I want to be able to parting shot again into the Zapdos. It's going to go for the Max Airstream, uh, which makes a lot of sense. And what we want to try and do is get the Tailwind up, get Regieleki on the field, Electro Web, the Zapdos. And then we're in a better spot with something like... Kyogre for the late game and if the Zapdos is not um, maxed as well it makes it a bit easier to deal with you know so there's the unnerve coming out from the Calyrex so we protect the Tornadus here let's see where the Zapdos has gone into it's got to be into uh, yeah Airstream into Tornadus yep okay well our hands kind of forced here though you know because <sighs> we have to Tailwind we have to Tailwind um, and Snarl. Snarl's a great option here, in all honesty. You can see a mud shot. But are we going to see mud shot and airstream? I think you're going to have to double into Incineroar to get rid of it. Which leaves the door open for Tornadus to do a little more work. We'll get the tailwind up. We need to match these these airstreams. And I think you're going to have to airstream if you zapped us to really keep pace with the game. So, yeah. Can we take this? Yeah. I'm maybe going to see the double end to NC here, you know. I think we are. That puts Zapdos at plus three. If NC can survive this mud shot, that's going to be huge for us. What's oh, Astro Barrage? I don't agree with that. This should take Tornadus down. Oh, wow. We survive. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I didn't expect us to take that. It means, though, that we can potentially... Um, hmm. Well, I think Incineroar is going to be able to stick around a bit longer now because I don't think another Astral Barrage plus whatever from Zapdos is going to take us down. Or is it? Or is it? Is it worth trying to keep Tornadus here as well? Um... As I'd like to keep Incineroar because if we lose Incineroar, we we lose our way of dealing with um, the ape. Might be worth just bringing 
Hmm. No, I think we've got a. I think we've got to go parting shot into Zapdos. Or do we just go for a Snarl again? I think it's risky, though. It is risky. And I'm going to Hurricane. I'm going to Hurricane into the Zapdos in case it switches out into like Rillaboom here. Okay, well, we're not going to see it. If we just lose, okay, double detect. They're going to try and stall out a Tailwind. Although I don't really know if that's the best thing to do because, to be honest, right now, the extra health that Incineroar is getting back, it could be enough for us to, uh, you know, see out uh, the double up. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll go for a Snarl again. How many turns of Tailwind have we got left as well? That's the big thing. Yeah, two. Could we bring in Regieleki? That's that's the option here. And keep our Tailwind for a little bit later. Is Regieleki going to be able to take an Astro Barrage? You know what? It should take an Astro Barrage. It should. On minus one. And then we keep the Tailwind for a little bit later. Okay, there it is. Oh my gosh, it actually knocks Regieleki out. Man, that is nuts. Is that Specs? Must be Specs. Has to be. Regieleki gone, not ideal. Uh, we'll take the Calyrex down this turn, which is good, I guess. Uh, Zapdos, yeah, just proc our berry. Actually, our berry will proc in a moment when the Calyrex exits the field. Now Zapdos on minus three. And Rillaboom going to make its way back onto the field now, I'd imagine. But Incineroar on a decent spot. And we got the Tailwind up. So. I think what we could do is Max Kyogre. Switch Incin out. For Tornadus. We're going to lose our Tailwind. We're going to lose our Tailwind. But the Zapdos is so weak now. It's, in, it's not going to be very effective against the Kyogre. Especially when we're maxed. So... I'm going to have to max Hailstorm, which is not the most ideal thing to do because we lose our, our weather. But if it means getting the return for the Rillaboom. I mean, the other thing, the other option is, right, we switch into Tornadus this next turn. And then get Incy out. Double into the Rillaboom. Ah, it's a little bit tricky, though, because they could just switch out, couldn't they? We can just switch out. I think we've got it. I think we switch in C out. Or do we go? I mean, what have they got in the back? What's their last Pokemon? Have we seen it yet? Have we seen their third and final Pokemon? It's going to be Urshifu. It's got to be Urshifu, I think. That's for that reason, it makes me think, uh, let's get Tornadus out onto the field. I mean, the safest way to get to get it out onto the field is going to be going for... Um, going to be going into Zapdos with a parting shot. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's go. Parting shot into Rillaboom. Let's protect Kyogre. And let's get Tornadus out into the field for free. Because this is going to be Urshifu, I think. Oh, it's Clefairy. Ha. Ah. Clefairy. Okay. Well. Hmm. At least we can get Tornadus out. Oh, that's a nice play, my friend. You spotted that a mile off. Okay, well, that makes things a little bit more tricky for us, for sure, because the Tailwind's gone now. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, what we have to do, what we have to do is parting shot. Uh, hmm. We have to parting shot. Hope they don't follow me. Switch into Tornadus. Forget about a Tailwind at this point. Zapdos is still going to be an issue because obviously all the drops have been nullified. Help in hand. Grassy Glide. Okay, so we're going to get a parting shot into the Rillaboom, which is very useful. Yep, you go for that. Yeah, that's fine. Now we're going to put it down to minus one, then we'll put it down to minus two with Fake Out coming in. And I don't think we max just yet. I think we go Water Spout, Fake Out. And 
hopefully we got enough because I think we need to keep our max for when we need to keep our max for when the Zapdos is in so we can max get our health take the Thunderbolt wipe it out with a big water type attack um, and we'll get instant onto the field now <laughs> Probably going to see, mm, did we see double protect? Well, I don't think we do. Because the Rillaboom definitely hasn't got protect. So we could potentially remove the Rillaboom from the field right now. Like, we definitely could. With a, yeah, we just fake out Clefairy. Go for, ah, uh, did we fake out Clefairy? I don't know. I think we Water Spout. Because I still think, we're probably going to see a helping hand, right? We're going to see a helping hand. If they switch in Zapdos, they're done. Yeah. But they're going to protect Clefairy here, I think. We should take out... Yeah, they're going to... Yeah, they, that makes sense. That makes sense. We fake out the Zapdos. The Water Spout will take it down. And then there's at least one threat going to our Kyogre. Right. Okay. Well, that's kind of half the job. Half the job done. We've got the other half to do. We've got the Rillaboom to come in. Getting all this health back all the time. And the thing is, what's going to be interesting is the grassy terrain is going to end, I think, in the next turn. Which is maybe what we want to try and stall out if we can. Uh, let's just check. Or has it got two turns left? Two turns. Hmm. Okay. Well, we protect this turn. And I think we go for... Ha! Ah, ha ha! We could max it in Cineroar, you know. We definitely could. There's the option there. I don't think it's very useful. I think we go for a parting shot into Rillaboom because I can see them go and help in hand Grassy Glide here. Which we can't take. Okay, follow me. That's fine. Um, Alright. Yeah, they're going to go for the help in hand. Oh, they're going into... Mm, okay, they're playing us. They're playing all the right... They're making all the right decisions. I think the problem is... Help in hand. Well, no. No, 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 no. We'll take a help in hand grassy glide. We just won't take a help in hand wood hammer. So we just need to be able to get rid of this thing. And then we can deal with the Clefairy. So we'll double in. Hope we don't see follow me. Because if we do, then it's going to get very difficult. But as a max hailstorm... And a Flare Blitz is going to be enough to get a Clefairy. I don't think so. But I'm confident right now that it's not Banded Rillaboom. That will take a helping hand Grassy Glide. And I'm hoping that's what my opponent goes all in on right now. I'm hoping they're like, we're going to nail this Kyogre. Come on, see that helping hand. Bang, bang, bang. Come on. Prove me right. Prove me right. Prove that the fat Kyogre is the best Kyogre. Grassy Glide... Taken like a champ, like a champ. Come on, Kyogre. This is why you are the king of the sea. The king of the sea. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But it doesn't matter. There's no redirection here. We've we've followed this up with a flare blitz just to make sure. And because the rain's gone, there's no doubt that in sea, the king of the cats. King of the cats, king of the sea, coming together to get rid of king of the jungle. Um and Rillaboom down and that means we win. So very good game to my opponent. And uh, showing that the Ogre can still perform like an absolute beast. I really love this team though. I really do love it. I know it's standard. Tonoga. Oh! <laughs> can I please have a helping of salt with my victory? Good game to my opponent. Sorry for the salt. Sorry you couldn't beat me with Rillaboom and Zapdos. I'm being mean. <laughs> But I've got every right. When you DC like that, come on. That's salt all over the place. Poor Clefairy as well. Just wanted to save the respect there. Anyway, who is my opponent? Let's have a let's have a gander. Are we gonna are we gonna see a name? I don't think we're gonna we're gonna get denied. That's unfortunate. It'll be there at the start. So whoever that was, good game to you. Don't get so salty though. It's Kyogre. Anyway, friends. That was entertaining, end to the uh, the battle. And we'll jump over now and get that rental code for you. So we'll be right back. Right, friends, here is the rental code for your standard Tornoga team. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We haven't really seen too much of the Cartana. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But I mean, the rest of the teams performed extremely well. And uh, hopefully the bulky Kyogre or something. Like, this is extreme bulk as well. But you can see how well it performs, you know, in battle. And maybe we didn't need as much 
bulk against the Rillaboom when we max, but you know, if we're in that tight spot there where we couldn't max, we could always, you know, know that we'd be able to take uh, the Grassy Glide, not with a helping hand boost, but you know, in normal circumstances. But I think it's generally quite a nice Kyogre build. It still deals as much damage as you need it to. Um, and you know, you've got the boost with the Mystic Mystic Water, so why not go a bit bulkier so it sticks around a bit longer. Um, but the late game Kyogre is definitely, in my opinion, the way to play Kyogre. I don't think the early game is something that you're gonna get away with anymore. I think it's got to be more of a late game Pokemon. And you've got the tools in this team to take advantage of that. You know, you've got the tools to kind of pave the way with your speed control, with disruption, intimidate support, and all those other things to really help carve out that win condition at the end of the game. So take these things on board. If you try the team out, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been a lot of fun, as always. And we'll be back soon, later in the week, with more builds. So do stick around for that. Uh, I'd love to hear. Your thoughts on today's episode in the comment section so leave your comments down below i'll try and get back to each and every one of you as soon as i can and uh, i'll catch up with you all soon so till then friends take care of yourselves and as always bye bye